Hi, hello, and welcome in our video. This video will be focused specifically on one feature, on views. Views is a feature that is so simple, straightforward, but at the same time very powerful and important. Views are used often and in wide variety of scenarios that may be complex enough to need separate videos. So what are views? Views are used to show the user a subset of the artifact content. But why showing just the subset of the artifact content is that important? Well, you see, I have just small template here with couple of artifacts, couple of artifact attributes and couple of links, and it's already getting crowded right here. And in real life, you can have tens of attributes associated with the artifacts, but there may be different subset of attributes relevant for particular team even smaller subset of attributes relevant for particular user. And once again, even smaller subset of those artifacts relevant for particular use case or scenario or workflow this user is focusing on right now. Therefore, use views so you can focus just on specific artifact attributes, specific subset of information is a perfect way how you can deal with complexity and information overhead when you are displaying just subset of the artifacts, if you will be using also filters that will be explained in separate video, or just subset of attributes that are based on some specific criteria, such as specific artifact types, specific attributes, specific workflow states, or specific owners, etc., etc. Moreover, as I already explained, views are used in many other scenarios, so it's not just about what you are doing right now as a user in a requirements management application. It's about what you would like to see when, for example, you are exporting something or when you are reporting on something, etc. Anytime you need to have just subset of information or specific information, you can use views or views with filters. All right, I will try calm a little because I got too excited about views. So right now, how you can create views? And actually, that's very easy. If you saw our previous videos about columns, or if you work with columns already, then you already know how to create views. Because to show just subset of artifact attributes, it's nothing more just to define columns. For example, the stakeholder requirement, you see that you have many different artifact attributes right here. But at the same time, those artifact attributes are not all in those columns. So this is a view, this is subset of artifact attributes. This is subset of information about this artifact. So to create view, you just need to select what columns you would like to have here and to organize them a little. Let's say that in my particular use case, I would like to have this satisfied by right here before contents. Priority is great, need is great. I don't need description, so I will remove it. I would like to have satisfies right beside content, and I don't need link to or link from. Okay, and you see, this is my view. I can choose that this column should be this wide. I don't need satisfy by this wide. I don't need satisfy this wide. And this is my specific view. This may be the perfect view for my use case, for my workflow. But this is just the beginning because, okay, I created some subset of information and organized it in a way that is most appropriate for my use case. But now I would like to save it. To save it, you need to open this left panel and click on this icon. This is for saving a new view. Click here and you see you, there are different settings you can choose from. So first is name. I already have one view, it's training view, so this would be training view number two. And then you need to choose if you would like to create personal view or shared view. Right now, let's create personal view. It will be view just for you. So no one else from the team will be able to see your view. And probably most of the views should be personal views. Then you can choose if this view should be visible just in this module, in all modules if you have different modules of the same type, or in every module. I will choose just this module so we can show 
how you can see it in the different modules or how you cannot see it in a different modules. All right, and I will leave everything else as default. Uh, the other important option may be that make this view as a preferred view. If this view is something you would like to always jump to when you come uh, to requirements management, then select make this view a preferred view, but pr probably most of the views are not preferred. So yeah, just leave it alone and click on OK. Excellent, and you see you have training view number two here, and this is our view. When I clicked on it, it disappeared. When I click on it again, it's here. So this is saved view, and you can go back to the view anytime you want. If you would like to do additional action with this view, for example, by right clicking, you can generate a report for this view or export this view. So export those artifacts and those artifact attributes that are in this view and also those links uh, from this view. Then you, again, you need to create view, save it, and just after that, you can export this view. And also, if you would like to edit attributes from view or link by attribute that will be separate video, again, you need to have saved view. Before continuing, let's create another view so we can have two views and show them in different modules. The second view, for example, I will remove both links, so satisfied by and also satisfies, and also, for example, clarity. This will be simple view. And right now, you can save this view, but please don't do that because you would overwrite the old view and we probably don't want that. Right now, we would like to create new view. So again, click here. And this would be, at least for me, training view number three. And it will be shared view. Why shared? Because I would like to share this view with all other users in this team. You see, everyone will be able to see this view. Additionally, I would like to use this view in all modules and I will click on OK. You can see right away first difference. You can see the training view number three is blue and it's up here, and training view number two is green and it's down here. Why? It's just to differentiate between shared views, those are blue, and personal views, those are green. Just a couple more points to shared and personal views. So again, personal view, any project member can create their own personal view for private use. For shared views, it's not for everyone. By default, just administrators can create shared views. To show you very quickly how you can see that, just go to settings, go to manage this project area, go to permissions, go to operation. And sorry for doing it quickly, but uh, you don't have to follow me, just I would like to show you go to operation and search for view. And here we have safe shared view. We have everything default. I didn't change anything. And you see no one can create shared views, but administrators. And my Igor admin account is administrator. All right. Maybe the question is why? Why shared views can be created and changed just by administrators? For me, it's simple. It's about control and it's about protection. About control. If everyone in the team would be able to create shared view, it can be very crowded very fast. There would be large number of views and no one would be able to recognize many of them. So it's probably not a good idea to create shared view just for small tasks and ta or tasks that are not used often or periodically or by everyone. Shared views should be managed and agreed upon beforehand so everyone can include their opinion and their information they need in their workflow. So, for example, if I would be following some agile methodology, maybe me as a product owner or, for example, a scrum master can uh, get with team and agree on some of the meetings what are information that we all need to see at the same time. For example, when working with backlog or when discussing requirements, etc. And we can agree about that, uh, those information and include them in a view. It's a shared view, so it should be shared decision. The second reason is protection. It is so easy 
to rewrite the view or to save incorrect view. Me, as a user, I may use shared view and I may change it because right now I need to change it and I don't need anything of this. I just need priority and that's it. And I am a newbie and I see, okay, there is some safe icon and I hit it. And right now I change the view for whole team. But that was just my particular use case right now that I was dealing with, but I made a user error and I changed the view for the whole team. That shouldn't be just about my decision and this individual again, shared views should be created based on a shared decision. So this is about protection, not to be able to change the view. All right, continuing with shared and personal views, I can show you with another account that I will jump to this stakeholder requirement specification and I won't be able to see training view number two. So you see right now I jump to Peter account, I will refresh this window and you see although I see training view number three because it's shared, I don't see training view number two because it was personal. And it's not just about permission. Uh, permission don't have uh, anything with this. It's about how you saved this view. So although Peter is not administrator, he is able to see the shared view. He is just not able to create it or save it. All right, and now about seeing views in another modules. I will jump to any other module, for example, system requirement specification. And I'm again as administrator, but I don't see that personal view because I created this personal view just for that module I, I was in. So just for stakeholder requirements, but I created shared view for every module so I can see it everywhere. I can jump back and go to stakeholder specification and by clicking on this view, I can edit the view. And you see, I cannot change it in any other way. I can change that just name, make it perf preferred or change description. I cannot change it and make it, for example, shared. And I cannot change it and make it, uh, for example, for all modules. I would need to create new view. But it's easy because, for example, if I need to change this view to be uh, personal, but in all modules, I will click here. And I don't need to change this view. I have a view here and create new one. So training view number two. It will be still personal, but now in all modules. OK, uh, let's say that uh, I will delete this one because, yeah, I, I made a mistake first time. And this is how I would like to have it. So I will delete first one. Yes, refresh, excellent. And now going to any other module, for example, again, systems requirement specification, I see that view here. So that's just demonstration of those settings, of settings uh, personal and shared view, and view in particular module or specific module, and view in all modules. All right, I think this is great for basic overview of views. Please just again know that there are different use cases how you can use views. So when you right click on this view, you, you see that you can generate report for this view. You can export this view. So you can export these artifacts and the art artifact attributes that are used in this view to the Excel. You can link by attribute. You can share a link to the view. So if you have 20 shared views, you can share a link to the specific view and send this link to your colleague. For example, as you can share the link for a particular artifact to your colleague, etc. So there are different use cases. We won't be going deeper in this video, but there may be a videos that will go deeper, for example, to exporting or to linking by attribute. So that's it for the video. I really hope it was informative for you and I look forward to see you in our next videos.